Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Whitaker confirmed to lead FAA. Beta Technologies eVTOL completes 117 nautical mile flight. Student pilot purposefully damages training aircraft. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Whitaker confirmed to lead FAA. The Senate has voted unanimously to confirm Michael Whitaker to serve as the next administrator of the FAA, occurring after more than 550 days without a permanent leader at the administration. Now he gets to oversee a national airspace system that comprises the world's most complex aviation system while overseeing more than 45,000 flights a day and almost 3 million airline passengers. And hopefully the private pilot will do this without ignoring sport and general aviation. In a matter of days, Whitaker will try out the big chair and take over the management of the FAA for a term of five years. Over the course of just a few weeks, the Whitaker confirmation sailed swiftly through the Senate after a previous and overtly contentious attempt to seat Philip Washington in the role, despite a number of issues with lack of aviation experience and a few ethical issues that were revealed throughout the process. The official post was vacated in March 2022 when Steve Dixon, who was placed in the role by President Donald Trump, stepped down midway through his five-year term. And coming up after the break, UAvionics acquires Iris Automation. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. There's a lot of places I get to at the end of the runway or in turnarounds that I need an engine running. So to me, it's very important to have a product that I'm absolutely confident with. I am very confident with the Trailblazer propeller. And when I'm flying air shows, I know that propeller is going to be right for me. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. UAvionics acquires Iris Automation. UAvionics has acquired Iris Automation, a Reno, Nevada-based concern specializing in small form factor, flexible and cost-effective end-of-line automation solutions, and a provider of optical detect and avoid technology. The acquisition occasions a synthesis of UAvionics extensive communications, navigation and surveillance and aviation expertise, and Iris's leadership in computer vision-based systems germane to the safe separation of aircraft. The acquisition marks an important leadership change as former Iris Automation boss John Damish is hoisted to the lofty station of UAvionics Corporation CEO. Air Methods Files for Bankruptcy Air Methods, the Air Medical Division, which provides emergency medical services to over 100,000 patients yearly, has filed for bankruptcy protection against a $1.7 billion debt. Air Methods business has suffered on account of rising interest rates, higher labor costs, and a recent U.S. ban on so-called surprise medical bills, so stated filings made with the Houston, Texas Bankruptcy Court. The company, acquired by private equity from American Securities in 2017, entered bankruptcy with about $2.24 billion in debt. Aviation war insurers cancel coverage over Israeli-Hamas conflict. Aviation war insurers based in Europe, the U.S., and the Lloyds of London market may be issuing seven-day notices of cancellation or other changes to policy terms and conditions in the event a major conflict is determined by underwriters to pose a legitimate threat to commercial aircraft operations, thereby rendering long-term insurance coverage overly risky. Insurers for Israeli flag carrier El Al Airlines, Israel, and Arkea previously iterated their ability to issue such notices on account of the war between Israel and the Palestinian group Hamas. As of yet, undisclosed Israeli airlines have received notice of imminent policy cancellation. 2023 World Drone Racing Championships in the books Korean pilot Min Chan Kim, age 19, emerged as the overall winner of the 2023 FAI World Drone Racing Championship. Coming in a close second was Japanese pilot Yuki Hashimoto, age 16, who displayed remarkable speed and agility throughout the championship. 
Completing the top three was Victor Johnson, age 31, from Denmark, whose consistent and calculated flying secured him a spot on the podium. Wanraya Wanupong, age 16, from Thailand, emerged as the champion in the female category. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Beta Technologies eVTOL completes 117 nautical mile flight. An eVTOL aircraft developed by Beta Technologies has completed a non-stop 117 nautical mile flight from Georgia's Augusta Regional Airport to the Peach State's Middle Georgia Regional Airport in Macon. The journey spanned one hour, five minutes. Beta Technologies ascribes the flight's success to charging infrastructure installed by the company in cooperation with the Georgia DOT and Georgia Power in Augusta. Subject infrastructure facilitated recharging of the aircraft known as the ALEA 250. Beta Technologies' ALEA 250 is a five-occupant, one-pilot, four-passenger, high-fixed-wing eVTOL aircraft, the propulsion scheme of which comprises four non-articulating VTOL rotors and one aft-mounted pusher rotor. By way of empennage, the ALEA 250 sports a large V-tail evocative of the Starship Enterprise's warp pylons. The described twin-tail assembly is supported by angled trusses, dramatically arched wings, and arcing tapered wingtips. The machine's undercarriage is of the fixed quadricycle variety. All five of the ALEA 250's rotors are independently powered by discrete proprietary electric motors, the requisite electrical power for which is supplied by battery cells purchased from outside vendors and customized in-house. And after these messages, student pilot purposefully damages training aircraft. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Student pilot purposefully damages training aircraft. The Martin County, Florida sheriff arrested student pilot Sumeb Singh, age 23, after he allegedly vandalized no fewer than 10 airplanes on Stewart's Witham Field, belonging to Treasure Coast Flight School. Singh reportedly acted out after the school denied him permission to undertake his first solo flight. School officials notified the sheriff's department after viewing surveillance video of Singh proceeding from aircraft to aircraft, damaging each. Michael Layton, who owns a competing flight school and has been flying since 1988, referred to Singh's actions as vindictive and asserted he'd never before heard of a student pilot purposefully damaging an aircraft, let alone 10. Layton remarked, quote, I feel bad for the owner of Treasure Coast Flight School. Ten airplanes down like that, it's got to put a big kink in his business because not only is it $1,000 to fix the airplane, but the three to four days of revenue that the plane doesn't fly times 10 is a lot of money, end quote. Security measures enacted after 9-11 require foreign student pilots training in the U.S. to obtain visas, undergo background checks, and conform to additional federal requirements. The entirety of the damaged aircraft have been grounded pending assessment and repairs. At a minimum, Singh, who was arrested on SUA, faces charges of felony criminal mischief. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.